Well, The New Woman Tries on Red, Russia and the American Feminist Imagination, uh, 1905 to 1945, uh, looks at American women who I would term new women, um, and those were uh, professional, um, independent, sexually liberated, socially conscious women, um, and who somehow got caught up in the sort of spirit of the Russian Revolution. And this predates the Bolsheviks. There was a kind of obsession with female revolutionaries and women. And they looked to Russia and then the Soviet Union for the possibility of this, this new era of female possibility, whether that was um, suffragists who noted women getting the vote in the Soviet Union right away, um, people who were social reformers who were looking at programs for maternal welfare and child health, um, kind of liberated women who were interested in the fact that women in the Soviet Union could get an easy divorce and easy abortion. Um, so a range also creative people who were interested in all the avant-garde creative experimentation. Um, so I'm kind of interested in this, this hidden history that's gotten um, covered up by by the Cold War and our fear of kind of looking closely at what it is that made people, um, particularly women who are completely absent from any of the studies, um, invest in, um, in the Soviet Union, um, which we, we really understand now only in terms of um, Stalinism and the horrors that were undertaken under Stalin's regime. So I'm interested in kind of looking at the hope alongside the, the horror.